Survival packages and equipment come in a variety of shapes and sizes. It is important to take only what is necessary for your individual needs. For example, if you are planning to go on a trekking expedition, you may well take a professional pack that contains all the items required to see you through any basic survival situation. An infantry soldier, however, may select a more simplified, dedicated kit, where the civilian counterpart may choose a full survival kit that has simplified visual information. However, special forces and members of the SAS will select their own survival items individually and pack it into a small tin, such as this. No matter which survival kit you choose, be it a small dedicated kit or a large professional pack, you should select the individual items with care. For example, for shelter, you may choose a shelter sheet or a small polythene bag that will protect you against the weather and the elements and prevent hypothermia. A soldier would select the green one, providing camouflage. His civilian counterpart, an orange one, for easy detection by the rescue services. Using the two polythene sacks, it's easy to make an emergency sleeping bag. Again, for camouflage, use the green sack on the outside. For signaling, the orange one on the outside. Fill up the cavity between the two sacks with any natural materials to hand, such as foliage, dead leaves, bracken. Even if the material is damp, once you are inside, you will be well insulated. For navigation, a range of equipment has been developed from the sophisticated GPS, the electronic global plotting system, to a simple button compass. Additionally, a soldier may carry a small escape map, which can be hidden in his clothing. One of the most essential survival requirements is the need to make fire. This can be done with a variety of simple equipment, such as a flint and steel and magnesium block. This will light approximately 4,000 fires, wet or dry. Also available are wind and waterproof matches. Once struck, they will burn for approximately 12 seconds without going out. It is also possible to use a simple magnifying glass. This requires dry tinder and direct sunlight. Signaling is also imperative for survival. And equipment for this ranges from a simple periwhistle, which is found in most life rafts and life vests, to more complicated equipment, like small hand flares, or for the military, a TACB survival radio. These are just a few of the numerous items. One of the other essential requirements for survival is water. A condom, when placed inside a sock, can be used as a water carrier capable of carrying two liters of water. You may need to purify the water. This can be done with purification tablets or with a portable water purifier. There are various simple tools that can be carried in your survival kit to construct shelter or catch game, such as a commando wire saw. Don't forget, a commando wire saw will convert into a very effective snare. If you need to cut, you can carry a small knife or a large, more complex one or a simple scalpel blade. For snares, you can include a length of brass wire. Make sure your survival kit is suited to the environment in which you are operating.